if you have plans of going into pig farming, there is something you must do which I believe will help you in the long run. And that is, you must make sure that you've brought out enough resources to go for the best structures when you're about to build your pig farm. If not, you are going to run into a lot of problems with pigs, with your pigs, because pigs are very, very destructive by nature. So if you are building your pig farm, you must go for the best. You must go for the best quality. Else, you will find yourself rebuilding your farm after, after three months. Because as these pigs keep growing, as they get bigger, they also become more destructive. I know what I go through on this farm when it comes to maintaining my farm. But mind you, while building the, my farm, I used the best materials. I used concrete blocks. I used everything. The best, that is what I used. But yet, pigs, they keep damaging the concrete. They keep damaging the doors. By nature, pigs are extremely destructive. So if you know that you don't want to be spending money all over again, rebuilding your farm, after some, some few months of starting up your pig farm, you must buy and build with the best quality of materials. So I'm going to show you guys now some of the, the destructive things that these pigs have done on this farm. So let's go and check them out. It's a sunny day on the farm. We are here, out here. So this is a typical example of what I go through. As you can see, pigs, this, things, this thing was very, very solid. For, as you can see, these pigs dug and dug and dug. And this is me trying to refill it with an extra concrete because I have to keep making repairs, else there will be no space to introduce more pigs into. So as you can see, all these things are repairs. These are new cements and gravel I'm using to make repairs. All these things are damages that pigs are doing. As you can see, these are all damages. They, they are the ones making all these holes. If I tell you guys that pigs are the ones that ate this thing, you'll be, you'll be surprised. Mind you, I plastered it with the best of the best materials I could get. But yet, these pigs, they ate all these things. So this is one thing you must know about pigs. They are destructive. And if you are building your pig farm, you must use the best materials. Else, you are going to suffer even worse destructions on your own farm. So these ones, as small as they are, these are the ones we wind earlier this month, around 1st of March. As you can see, these are, as long as they are, these are the holes they are creating. These are the holes they are creating. All these things are holes that they are creating. So these are how destructive pigs are, no matter their ages. These are all these things are holes that they are creating. So this is one thing you must know about pigs. Else, you so if you have plans of going into pig farming, these are the things you have to consider. You have to know that if you are building your pig farm, you must put solid material. You must use solid materials to build your farm. Else, you are going to experience even worse. You are going to experience even worse. As you can see, these are concrete. After placing your block, you have to make plaster. You have to plaster it. Else, it will be easier for the pigs to be eating the block because the blocks are softer compared to the plastering the plaster that you've plastered on the wall. So you have to put the blocks and then plaster, else they will find it easier to eat up the block. So you, you must plaster. Don't just lay blocks or even use woods, except you are planning on staying there for just a few months. But if you are constructing a farm that you know that you, know that you want to stay there for as many years as possible, you must use concrete and you must use, don't try to economize cement. I see most farmers will do this. They are trying to build their farm and they econom economize the cement. No, you have to use enough cement. You have to use the best material and build your farm. Else, your farm will be experiencing a lot of problems and you find yourself using money, money that you're meant to use for feeds and for other reasonable expenses in your farm to be making repairs, which is what could also eat into your profits. So this is one thing you must know. Build your, build your farm to be solid. As you can see this side, they're all plastered. All the walls on the farm are plastered. That is to tell you the level of, of uh, resources we put into building this farm. As you can see, everything is plastered. Concrete's everywhere. We use concrete every single way. So this is one thing you must do at your own farm if you are building your farm. Use the best materials. Use concrete. Don't use woods, except you are planning to stay there temporary.
So that's basically it on today's video. This is what I want to share with you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video.